To implement the save file method, we're going to introduce a new field called file path, which will hold the path to where our current file is stored. We declare it as a private string with a default value of null. Whenever we create a new file, this path will be reset to null, and when we open a file, this field is set to the new file path. Now, let's go back to the save file method. If the path is unset, we'll let the save file as method take over. Otherwise, we'll try to save the text field to that path using the stream writer class. Here, we have to remember to manually reset the modified flag since we're not changing the content of the text box. If the save fails for any reason, we'll catch that error and display it to the user. And whatever happens, we end by closing the stream. The save file as method will require another dialog control, so we'll switch to the sign view and this time add a save file dialog. Rename it to dsave and set the default extension to txt. Back to code view, we'll display this dialog and exit in case the user hits cancel. The file path can now be updated to the path the user has selected and with that we can call save file to save the file to this new location.